Washington will inbound. Hamilton on the wing. And Hasegawa on the other wing. There's Hamilton back door to Washington. Oh, Washington got a hand up on that one. Foul called on, uh, on Okayama. Okay, yep, that's gonna go against Hasegawa. So ball over to Black, Ulan Batar. They, they proved that they got some game beating Ljubljana to start the day, 14 to 11. Washington takes the contact. Gonna step up to the stripe here. If you hadn't seen Washington's mix, mixtape yet, go to people.com. Under the World Tour section. This is his second appearance on the World Tour. Knocks down the free throw. After the up fake, decides to finally shoot it. Ends up missing it. So Ink Bob Delgun so good for Ulan Batar in that win over Ljubljana. A little hesitant on his, his first offensive possession. Turn around, Jay missed. Hamilton couldn't get the layup to go. Quickly cleared by Ulan Batar. Oh, nice fake. Just enough to get some space and score it as Gatov gets the job done. Speaking of getting the job done, Washington flexing on him. So Washington's got that, that great combination of size and athleticism. So he can take contact on a drive and he can also elevate on you too. Meantime, D two piece missed. Washington tracks it down. You better watch. Oh, maybe you better not watch out. <laughs> the ball is stolen. Oh, and a strong drive. Good answer there from Inkbot. Hamilton. Nice bounce pass. It's recovered and scored on the inside. Nice finish from Hill. So, Okayama, the current leaders in the EXC ZBO 3X3 League. It's the pro Japanese league. That's how they qualified to get here. They're the eight seed. Hamilton blocked you very much. The big man with the big defensive stop. And he's going to get a big rest. <laughs> Four two. And a shot clock violation. Washington. Good D on him. And he turns it over. Black ball. Ulan Batar with a chance to go 2-0 and, oh, and automatically have a spot in tomorrow's elimination rounds. Could get interesting in, in the event of a tie, a three-way tie. We go to total points to determine who will be moving on. It's a lot of basketball to be played between now and then. Just kind of setting the scene for you. Of course, Ljubljana still has to play against Okayama later on this evening. There's Washington, too big, too strong, too much on the inside. And a three-point lead for Okayama.
Catch, shoot. Too strong. Couple dribble moves. Then the two pieces let go. Hamilton tastes the leather. Washington trying to get some redemption. He draws the foul on the drive. He's going to head back to the free throw line. Put so much pressure on the defense. Way short, but uh, rebounded, still missed. Well, then Batar has it now. Hamilton defender. Shot clock violation. Over to Okayama, one point advantage still, just about three minutes into this game. Gary Hamilton, the big man on the move like the Leafs is up. All right, little floor issue here. And our staff is quickly on top of it. They get it taken care of. Max and the crew. 6'6", six, 6'53 six, six on the clock. As we approach the, the midway point of day one, believe it or not. We'll play on into the evening here. Much love to you if you've been watching the uh, live stream on YouTube, Facebook. Use that hashtag 3x3WT, by the way. Oh, good hustle. Nice pass. And a shot clock violation. So better defense than anything else. Hamilton, he got where he wanted to go, didn't make the layup. Washington got his back though. Yama will take over with a one-point lead. The size that they have with Hamilton and Washington is going to cause a lot of issues. If, uh, if they can make it to day two of the tournament, they'll need a win here. And again with uh, Ljubljana. Set to lace him up against him later on this evening. They find themselves in a battle with Ulaanbaatar, the first team to qualify for the World Tour out of Mongolia. And the two piece is good. Eight up. Oh, offensive foul is called there. The score is tied 8-8, eight, eight, six minutes and five seconds remaining. It's ball. Oh, nice bounce pass and great patience underneath the basket. And the score from Inkat Dugun. Gives it over to Hamilton. Hamilton misses the crib. Out of bounds to Ulaanbaatar. And 
looks like we got a challenge. Yep, out of bounds challenge. Again, something that uh, we started to introduce last season, but it's uh, it's on in full effect this year. Each team with one challenge per game. The only way you lose that challenge is by losing your challenge. See what I mean? If you win your challenge, you get to keep it. So another look, see Hamilton shoot. It looked like, from my vantage point, it looked like it was out of bounds on Ulan Batar. I could be wrong. We're about to find out for sure. Yep. Challenge is one. It's going to be orange ball. So three on the shot clock for Okayama. Shot is off in time, just not on target. Foul called on the play. It's going to go against the dull gun. Or excuse me, that's going to go against uh, Hasegawa. Nice move. And the soft hook on the inside from Ink Taiwan. Catch and shoot from two range. Bang, bang. Hilke. Ten up. We got ourselves a game, don't we? Yes, sir. Oh, the two just rattles out. Look good from here. Offensive foul called on the play. Saw Hasegawa trying to create some space, and he extended that arm. Oh, look at the battle on the inside. Gary Hamilton gets the board, though. Now he's calling for it. Kind of a bad interior pass, and then Hamilton picks up the foul. That's number, foul number six on Okayama. Five on Ulaanbaatar. So Okayama one away from the penalty. Oh, nice move. Not, not a nice pass. Hamilton to Washington. De eight, defended well at the rim. Love how he was challenged there by Inkbot. A lot of times you'll see players stray away when you got when you got a player who's athletic like like Washington. They don't want to get dunked on. After the tech though, Ruben Batar at the strike. Delgarniam misses the free throw. Possession to Ruben Batar after the tech. And then a beautiful pass and no finish at the rim. Man, Inkbot wishes he can get that one back. Stays 10 up. Hamilton with the D, kicks it out. Washington 
passes up the two and streaks to the rim to lay it in. Some of the surface of the court came up underneath the rim. Our grounds crew take care of that pretty quickly. And a TV timeout. 11 to 10 game, Okayama in front by only one. Seven fouls on Okayama, so they're in the penalty. Willem Batar not far behind with five fouls. So we got fans of all ages. Fellas and the ladies alike. They love 3X3 hoops, don't you? See, that lady, she said, yeah, I do. See? <laughs> Man, stop number two on the world tour this year. It went down in Saskatoon. And we'll see if Utenamiya can top it. There's a nice score on the inside. Goto, Washington, give me that, plus one. So he can make it a two-point play here. Ulan Batar now with six fouls. 3.48 on the game clock. Washington, oh, he misses the free throw. There's Inkbot, Inkbot, oh, get your weight up. Misses Hamilton confiscates the board for Okayama. He's looking for Washington. Washington couldn't get open, so Hamilton fired the two, missed it. And then the shot is missed by Hilke. Hamilton, look at him, stay at it. He, he, just, pat, he just padding his rebounding stats. He got like eight rebounds on one possession. There's a big rebound, Washington with the follow. It's 13 to 11 now, two ball, oh, man. That was deeper than poetry night. My goodness. Go toe with the stroke. Bank shot missed by Hilke. Here's Go toe, well, he, he was asking for it, he didn't get it. Instead, it's number six, Delgayam knocking it down. And it's 14-13, Ulaanbaatar, two and a half to play. This has been a game, really from the start, back and forth. Open, missed at that time though. Rebound, missed as well on the inside. Over to Washington, Washington. Foul on the drive. Didn't matter if it was shooting or not. He's going to get a couple of free throws as that puts Ulan Batar in the penalty. And again, 2-11 on the clock, one-point game. Ulan Batar with that one-point advantage. And you see, you see the guys in black sitting down. Gas. People, you know, when you watch 3x3, you don't, a lot of times people don't understand the type of conditioning that it takes to be successful at this game. It's very quick. 12 second shot clocks just don't allow a whole lot of time for rest. Offense turns to defense in a split second, just like that. So you're talking about some athletes who have to be in peak condition to really be successful. Speaks to some of the challenge that uh, you know this game presents. Makes it even more interesting. Washington strokes the first one. All even at 14 apiece. Oh, second free throw, no good. Willem Batar with the possession now. They clear it. Oh, good passing. Just great ball movement by Ulan Batar. And you can understand why they're the first Mongolian team to make an appearance on the world tour. 
Washington just, just stop. He's a grown man, looking like he's playing against boys. Watch it, oh, he almost crossed him. Two was missed. Track down, good heads up play. Smart play there by Hasegawa. Hasegawa, experience. He represented Japan at the first ever 3x3 Asia Cup in 2013. Couple of moves, fade away. Off the Windex. So Hilke gives Okayama the one point advantage, but a two and a foul on the play, which will send Singu Bayar Gotal to the strike. Couple of free throws. Makes the first. Minute 20 left. Every point counts, every possession crucial down the stretch here. First team to 21 wins it. Just a reminder, 17 to 16, Ulaanbaatar looking to go 2-0. Oh. But Washington keeps putting the pressure on Ulaanbaatar down low. So you see uh, Ink Taiwan check out. And Devon Washington back up at the free throw line. First one is good. It's his second appearance on the world tour. Played in 2015 as well. Long on the second free throw, but Hamilton puts that big bear paw up there. Brings it down and gets the score. Okayama up by one. Quick kick out. Long two. And a strong left. It's going to be Okayama Rock. Under a minute to play. Eight fouls apiece. And an 18 to 17 lead for the fellas in orange. Hamilton to, to Washington, and he goes to what he knows best, kicks it out. Got a wide open look there for Hesegawa. Missed the first and misses the second. Hamilton, though, skies for the rebound. He's got as many rebounds as Ulaanbaatar has got points in this one, it seems like. The big man's got a big motor. <laughs> He's sucking for air now. One point game, 35 ticks left. They give it to Washington. Not a, not a bad idea, I would say. Oh, and an offensive foul is called there. Washington try to clear off with that off arm. He's called for it. 30 ticks left in this. Pull A play. Catch and shoot just in front of the logo. And it's missed, but recovered underneath and scored. 18 up. Hamilton to Washington. Step back. And another foul is called. That's number nine on Ulaanbaatar. And two shots will follow. So Washington has been pretty good at the strike so far in this one. Pretty cons. And this is the first one. I might have jinxed him. He's had a couple of trips at the strike where he's made the first, missed the second. Maybe he can do the inverse here. We'll see. Missed the first, make the second. They need it. Second one's good. So let's see what Ulaanbaatar has. 
Six seconds remaining here. Drive, miss. Hamilton ends up with it. He's going to shoot it at the buzzer. Won't matter anyway. His team gets a big win in a hotly contested game. Man, that one was a good one. 19-18 is how it ends. Okayama with the dub over Ulaanbaatar. So Ulaanbaatar is going to finish day one, one and one. Okayama is going to start one and zero. Oh. Meantime, Ljubljana also in pool A, zero oh and one. So depending on what what happens in that uh, final game in pool A between Okayama and Ljubljana, we could be looking at a three-way tie if Ljubljana is able to get a win. We'll see.